Army Times, right here, reported on March 25th, 2015, 4.05 p.m. Army uses ISIS flags in training and scares the public. Was this on their military base? They couldn't do it on their military base? No. They couldn't. Because they want to desensitize the people to being used to seeing the Islamic flag and it's treasonous. This specific picture is not of our military. That's the Islamic State group militants holding up their flag. March 2014 in Iraq. So, I'm going to shrink the picture and show you the article. It's disgusting. Sunday morning in the Detroit area, an Islamic State flag seen on a military vehicle raised the alarm of some locals, according to local news reports. Army Reserves officials said that there is no cause for alarm. No cause for alarm. They are flying the Islamic flag of terrorists on our military vehicles. They know that ISIS and the Islamic terrorists are mass murdering people across the globe. They know our borders are wide open. And they have the gall to do that in public. What if they'd have been shot because somebody mistaken them for somebody who crossed the border illegally and hijacked our military equipment? I'm just asking. Army Reserve officials said there's no cause for alarm, though, because there's no known Islamic State group activity this weekend near the Army Reserve Center in Southfield, Michigan, where the truck was seen. And certainly no military vehicles driven by actual IS supporters. Oh, well, that just makes us feel all so much better, doesn't it? Or are they? Our government funds, trains, arms, provides vehicles for ISIS in the middle, over there in the Middle East. Oh, how are we to know they don't support them here? How are we to know they're not driving it? It was just a prop as a training exercise. Army Reserve Command Spokesman Lieutenant Colonel William Ritter told the Army Times. Ritter said the 114th Civil, Civil Affairs Battalion was performing their weekend battle assembly and the Civil Affairs training involves a lot of role play. That includes props like the flag. He said similar training exercises in the past have used paraphernalia designed to resemble that used by Al-Qaeda and Helzaba. Ritter said part of the facility in Southfield can be seen from the outside and he had not confirmed whether or not the military vehicle left the facility with the black IS flag on it. The local news report cited anonymous officials who said the truck wouldn't normally leave the property with the flags displayed and reportedly apologized for the confusion. Southfield is a municipality that directly borders Detroit to the northwest. And you get in trouble for flying or wearing a shirt with an American flag on it into a school and our military, who is supposed to be protecting our country, the Army Reserves are flying ISIS flags. I don't care if it is for drills or not. It is unacceptable. And you cannot tell me that they cannot do drills on a base without that flag. How about they pretend, instead of being the bad guys, why don't they pretend 
to be the good guys and fly our flag. So the local news report out of Detroit, CBS Local, right here. ICE was on the streets of Metro Detroit. So what does that mean? No, it wasn't on the base. Officials say it was a planned exercise, March 22nd, 2015. There you go. Beautiful. When's enough going to be enough, guys? There was some concern in Southfield Sunday morning after an ISIS flag was seen hanging from the side of a truck near the United States Army Reserve. Officials told WWJ News Radio 950 that the flag was being used as part of an anti terrorism training exercise and the truck had briefly left the property. Yeah. Such a vehicle wouldn't normally leave the base, and officials understand why there would be confusion and apologize. Confusion? How about pissed? How about irate? How about how dare you? Christians are being beheaded around the globe, including inside the United States of America. People who are not following Islam, including Muslims, are being murdered in mass, and you dare, you dare fly that flag here? Being our military? Being our reservists? Have you lost your mind? You're lucky you didn't get shot. And I don't believe there is one jury in the world that would have convicted whoever shot the individuals that were driving a truck with an ISIS flag. They are our enemy. Period. Absolutely insane, people. If this doesn't bring you to tears, if this doesn't give you a reality check, what will? If they come strolling through your neighborhood and they've got ISIS flags hanging on their vehicles, what are you going to think? What if they get out and jump out and have a little machete and start screaming, Allah Aquaba? Are they going to get their stuff shot? And then whose fault would it be? It sure as hell wouldn't be the person trying to protect their community. It'd be the idiots that were drilling and acting as if they were ISIS. Now I apologize for the language, but people, come on. Wake the heck up. I'm so disgusted with the brainwashing going on, and I cannot believe these Army reservists actually went along with this. Are they even Americans? We don't know. Are they even really truly our Army National Guard? We don't know. Just because someone reports it doesn't mean it's so. We don't know. I wish nobody any ill will. Nobody. I believe in your freedom of speech, but I also believe if you jump out with a machete, pretending like you're an idiot, then you get what you deserve. Our people are done. 
We're tired of the caliphate. We're tired of the Takiya. Not working anymore. Understand that. Not working. Anymore. At all. Thank you and God bless. I'll provide the documents and the links below once again. And I apologize to my followers if I seem more upset than usual. But this is not the land of the free and the home of the brave anymore. It's the land of oppression and tyranny and police targeting civilians and murdering them and getting by with it. It is the perfect Hitler regime and it is only getting worse. And people are refusing to either research or study or even give a flying rat's behind about their own life, much less that of the life of their children or their mate or their mothers or their fathers or their neighbors. What has happened to our people? I'm not talking about the corrupt but in Washington. I'm talking about our people. Washington can't do anything without we the people following them. They don't have the power. They don't have the people. God bless you. May he protect you in the journey on whichever one you may take. And I am dreaming of the day when all the politicians that are corrupt, all the corrupt judges, police, lawmakers, and globalist bankers go to prison. They're tried for crimes against humanity and the world is freed from this tyranny. That to me will be a glorious day. In Jesus' name, stay safe and simplify.